This is Code.org, and so we've been creating this game. Right now we have a background and a platform. If you don't have that, go back and do the other parts of this uh, lesson. Check out my videos if you're stuck on them. All right, let's see what we're adding. Loop the platform sprite. Right now your platform sprite moves down, but it doesn't loop back to the top of the screen. You can loop at lesson, you can look at lesson 15, 13 to see an example of a sprite looping around a screen. We definitely can, but we're going to do that without looking. Let's see what we got. Do this. Use the function block to create loop platform function at the bottom of your code. Use an if block inside the function to check whether the platform has gone off the bottom of the screen, and if it has, move it back to the top of the screen. Call the function, woo, this is a lot. Call the function inside the draw loop in the update sprites area. Run the code to test your sprite. Hint, what will platform Y be when it moves off the bottom of the screen? It will be greater than 400. What should platform Y be when you put it back at the top of the screen? Our starting point. Got it. All right. So we want, oh, what do they want us to name this? Loop platforms. Okay. I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom. And they haven't added this function yet. So we're going to. Quicha. And then they want it named loop platforms. Okay. Just for clarity, I'm going to hop over to show text to put a space here. Uh -huh. I want this in the middle of the screen. Let's add some blank lines. Okay, so loop platform, and then they said use the if conditional. So we're going to go over to control, right? Because where you want to check something. To check something in programming, you're going to use if statements. So I'm going to drop this in here. Now, what are we checking? Well, we want to know if the sprite, if the platform is off the edge of the screen. So sprite y, whoop, and let's see here, show grid. At, at the top, y is 400. At the, at the top, y is 0. At the bottom, y is 400. So if it's off the edge of the screen, I would say y is uh, 410 maybe. So if platform oh i need to go to math because i want to know if it's greater than so whoop, and then i need sprites and sprite y if the platform y right so if it's y property of the platform sprite is greater than Let's say for, uh, I'm just going to, yeah, 400. Let's try that. That should be good. If it's greater than that, we want to reset it to the top. So where did I set it up originally? I put it right here, negative 5, right? Because I want it above the screen. So let's say set Y, and I don't need to change X, because X can be the same, platform, and to negative 5. 5y, which would be up here. Okay. Now, there's a yellow block here because we don't call it, meaning this code makes the function, but it's never, we never ask the computer to run that function anywhere. To make a computer run a function, you have to call it. The only code our computer does automatically is this stuff up here and then everything in the jaw loop. So we want to ask it to run the function. So I'm going to go to functions and I'm going to grab my function. And where did I want it? Update sprites. Got it. That would make sense. Okay, so under update sprites, and we're going to have loop platform. Okay. I think that's what we named it. Platforms. Ah. Yes. There we are. So, what happens when I hit run on this program is it creates the variables, it hits our draw loop, and it runs everything in here. Now it's going to check which background we need based on score, shows the score, and then it hits the loop platform function, and the code says, okay, where's that? Oh, here it is. And then it runs this code. Okay, so is my platform greater than 400? If so, start it back at the top. And then it goes right back to the draw loop and keeps running the code. It only runs our functions when we call them here. 
The draw loop runs automatically, but functions are only run when we call them, when we say their name. All right, let's test this out. Ta-da! Great. And that should be awesome. Yep, we are ready to move on. Let's keep going. Well, here, actually, just to point out, what I added was this. This is my loop platform function. And then make sure you call it up in the draw loop. Awesome.